Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Implosion Never Lose Hope. And it's time, ladies and gentlemen, besides like, commenting, and subscribing, and hitting that bell to be notified when awesome videos arrive in radical ways. No, no, no. It is time for us to use our 25 medals. What? And unlock the Crimson Gundam. Yay! Oh my gosh. I'm so I know. Excited. I know. Here we go. I can't take the hype. Ah! The hype is going to make me explode. So, I mean, you don't really get to see a cool animation when you open up Crimson. Or but it, the hype is going to cause an implosion. I see what you did there, yeah. Because... All right, so last time we got our high knees kicked by the uh, difficult level. So now we're going to bring in Crimson to even the odds in the last stand. Whoa, why do you look bigger and more ultimate? I look like Char. Yeah. So Crimson, Avalon. Avalon, oh. Crimson. Now, what I didn't want... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to spoil this. I'll let you see because you've never seen this. Uh -oh. So we're going we're gonna to do this. Okay. And go! Anytime. No? Crimson, the hack drone is deployed. Hold off the Zada until we complete the transfer. Understood. If worse comes to worse, the drone's countermeasures can take a few Zada down. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Nightwing pilot is a playable character in the Crimson Robot Girl Power. Cool! So now Jake is uh, orbiting the Earth and... Diana or Diana, whatever you want to say her so, name. This is what an early WM2 looked like. Thandius did a pretty good job. Diana. These are super scale models of the Thandius prototypes. They were trying to design their own WM2 before we took over production. Did they get anywhere? It never got off the ground. Okay, so uh, let me explain what's going on while we take these guys down with the ultimate spear. When you bring in Crimson. Jake goes up into space, mm -hmm. and Dinah, or Nightwing, or Captain Nightwing, Diana. whatever you want to do, she comes down, and the dialogue changes. In fact, the whole story pretty much changes. Whoa. Except it still centers around Jake somehow, but he's not here. So, Interesting. Yeah. It wow. almost makes you want to go through the game and play in the beginning as Crimson, which I'm tempted to because it would be a whole new dialogue and perspective uh, than what you had with Jake and the captain and all this other stuff. Wow, they put that much effort into the game? That's I know. Awesome. Well, she was a microtransaction character. Oh, interesting. And uh, this was an amazing mobile game that is so much better on the Nintendo Switch. She's like, Wonder Woman. Yeah. If this was only a uh, retail game, like, so you could have the cool box art, mm -hmm. you know, it would be a must-have for your Switch collection. But if you need, no, if you need this game in your Switch digital collection, so download it today, it is only $11.99, and it is worth every single penny. Wait, did you just switch if you need to, you do need this game? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you do need this I game. wish that we could have the awesome box art for this. That would be cool if they download that they actually made a uh, real copy of it. Like it would physical. be nice. But so if yeah. you guys are looking for episodes of Implosion every night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, well weeknights, we have an awesome K teen featured episode, and on the weekends it Woo. is something else. K teen could be a live stream. Something it else. could be another game. Don't know. Working on this one right now, so be patient. It could be a surprise. Totally. But uh, only really anime games count in this category because K-Teen is, of course, a spoof of Toonami, and, well, you know, Toonami is anime, mostly. What if it's a team-rated game that's not anime, K-Wing? There are none? There are, but <laughs> I, I like anime. All right, okay. All right, I see how it goes. And we did a lot of anime games uh, the so, past couple years so where... It, it is know. our Toonami block, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? No. Actually, actually, you were telling me that's... I think you maybe you mentioned it in this uh, playthrough, but you were telling me that's how you got a lot of your followers on Twitter was that Toonami thing yep. that you were doing. Yeah. That's why I've never really grown followers is because... Uh, it happened during the whole Bring Back Toonami in 2012, 13, maybe, I believe it was. Maybe you need another cause. Like, get Amber a spear cause that you talk about every nope. day. But this like character uses a spear. 
Ooh, not fair. It's a double-ended sphere. See, girls can have spheres, so how come I'm not trusted with one K-Wing? Mm, I'm not going to answer that on the air. Sadness! <laughs> but what's great about Crimson, like I said in previous videos, when I was kind of like hyping up her entrance into the game, mm -hmm. her like uh, attack and her critical power is twice that of Avalon. Oh. So you can easily tear through bad guys, like tissue paper. Oh, um, may I ask a question? Mm. Why does Jake have the other, like, why does she have a cooler robot than Jake? Because she's supposed to be a paid-for character. Oh, okay, but, like, in the story, though, why is she cooler than Jake? Because she is his superior. What? She's his superior officer? Mm-hmm. Well, all right, cool. Yeah, think of her like the Roy Coker of uh, this game. Interesting. And Jake is basically Rick Hunter. Ah, okay. But I was actually hoping that Jake would be the one to pilot this, but the first time I played Crimson was such a surprise, because it was like, wait a second, why is the Diana down here? Uh, I don't really... You know what? I'm over it. Yeah. I know, cool. I, was, I was hoping Jake would... Pack complete. Downloading memory bank. Get a cooler uh, robot, but it's cool. Well, is this one? They each have their own. The difference between Crimson and Avalon... Avalon is very snarky. Mm, Crimson is very... Hey, what's up, pizza dude? Very, um... Uh, to the point, and she... Uh, she has language issues. Oh, okay. Yeah, more or less. That's the big difference between the two. So she just does it just for the sake of doing it. Okay. Okay, so we can't unlock that right now. It's interesting now. that girls can always get away with that more than guys. She speaks very matter-of-fact, too. Like, yeah. you know, a commanding officer. She just has a lot of, like, uh... Ooh, who's that? I don't know, he's some dead guy. Some guy hanging out? Yeah, well, he's... Shooting the breeze. He's not around anymore. All right, oh. so where is the exit? Okay. Where are you exiting? sorry that he's not around. Nope, that's not it. So it looks like we've pretty much destroyed everything, so we just have to exit now. There it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Good job, Cr Crimson. The Red Comet. Wait, I have a question. The, la the last ship was called... The last Gundam thing was called Avalon and Jake drives it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That was my question. It's the one that's default. This is the one you have to unlock. All right, so Trap Maker, zero escapes in the level. I tried. Hey, that wasn't bad. We still got S rank for time. Yeah, top. We got an A rank. You're doing 10 million times better than I would, but All you right. already know that. So this is Crimson's uh, weapon loadout. You can see it's very different than Jake's. Well, Jake has uh, creatures based after like animals and stuff like that. Her stuff is more like Greek mythology and Egyptian mythology. So she has like Anubis. She has, like, um, griffins and, you know, cyclopses and all kinds of stuff. Mythical, so you can see the Anubis head right mythical there. Mythical beasts. Mythical things, instead yeah. Instead of actual ones. Mm -hmm. And now they actually have Crimson's parts uh, labeled instead of, like, Avalon and Crimson oh, and stuff like okay. that. Oh, okay. So Excellent. you know what's what. Yeah, that makes sense. And most of her stuff is all, like, redded out. Like... She has a lot of uh, excellent or extreme stuff. Okay, so we were just That's there. Cool. We have to go here. And yeah, we'll keep the Crimson Train going. Yay! Why not? It changes the story just a little bit, but... The Crimson Train is going. Unfortunately, gang, Avalon is really weak right now, so... Gots to do what I gots to do. I'm not complaining. It's Crimson. Crimson, there was a viral packet hidden inside the code. Systems are going haywire. We are working on a solution. I don't hear any bombs falling. We cannot send the launch codes to Nightwing. There's a beacon directly above you. You need to move out of the area now. Controls are down. Some kind of mutating algorithm is on board. Keep moving as best you can, Crimson. We're working on digital countermeasures. Okay, so something is attacking Nightwing. Now, oh. truthfully... I don't know what would happen if uh, Jake was in this level, because at this point forward, um, even up to Chapter 5, I kept playing as Crimson. Oh, okay. So I was kind of like, I'm sorry, Avalon, there's no problem with this. 
Uh, actually, there was a problem with your suit. You're so much weaker than Crimson. <laughs> um, so I just kept yeah. playing as Crimson. I don't really hear Diana talking much. So no, she only talks when she needs to. Wow. So there's not really a lot of snarky Our humor anymore. Jake is fun four. because Jake likes to be snarky and smart Alex. Snarkiness. Crimson. Because Jake is Nightwing. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the easy way, yeah. And Crimson is Oracle. No, Oracle's no. chatty. All right, Crimson is Batman, but a girl version. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> Except Crimson's out in the open. Batman would never uh, be out. All right, I don't know who Crimson is. She's just Crimson. Yeah. I mean, she's like your typical... Oh... Anime Sunadre, I think they call it. Like, she's very angry oh, sometimes. Oh, mean girl. But she can be sweet, so it's like that personality shift. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's go... I don't know what's happening right now, actually. I think something is hacking them, so... You can't really get a view of what the the map looks like. It's supposed to be like you're you're being hacked by another human company or something. I don't know. I never understood. I'm sure Jake would go into more detail with the storyline, but when you bring in Crimson, this is pretty much what happens. And once Gaia is clear of the drill, they can use it to push the shot of that and settle on the planet they've had their eye on from the beginning. Okay, so they just said there's a human civilization on the moon. Mm, I knew it! And uh, <laughs> they are not for the people of Earth. Oh. So they might be behind the Zaya invasion. Maybe. I don't know. Alright, now one of my conspiracy theories just popped into my head. No! <laughs> there actually is a theory about people on the moon that are, are, are against What did I just say? Okay. <laughs> I won't give any details, but I want to. <laughs> when I speak, you listen. Ooh, pineapple. No. I'm pineappled. Alright, flamethrower does not work well against these guys, but luckily we have lots of attributes and special moves to really put the herd on these guys. Crimson has some of the coolest special moves in the game. When I make a sandwich, you eat it. Oh, wait, that wasn't very... Wait, mm. the <laughs> ones that you make? Sadness! I make good ones! <laughs> uh. uh, you are too easy. Okay, yeah. so this apparently is a dead end. All right, so we'll just follow our cursor. When in doubt, follow the little arrow. Yep. But the arrow's pointing through that door, so I guess I have to take down all these enemies to exit. I don't really remember this level, so I mean, I'm just gonna plow through it with Crimson and hope for the best. Well, I mean, it makes sense that people on the moon would be hostile, because, like, it's cold up there. And they'd be angry because it's cold. So, like, well, a civilization of Mr. Freezes. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, I guess some places it's really hot, but some places it's really cold. That's what I've been told. I'm only gonna have people correct me and be like, it's really hot up there, Amber. Well, you know what? I heard it was cold on the dark side of the moon. I would so love it up on the moon. Really? I don't like hot temperatures. Yeah, and then the, it's really hot on the other side of the moon, I think. So, I don't know. Someone tell me, is it hot or cold on the moon? Is it cold on one half and hot on the other? I think that's how it works. Okay, so we're gonna go through but this door. But space is cold. Yeah, space is very cold. Ah, I hate you. See, that is a cool super. She twirls her, like, lance or spear around, and she shoots, like, lasers out of it at the same time. That's what you call an OP move. Mm, oh, yeah. But, I mean, Crimson's only a level 15. So, I mean, honestly, when I unlocked Crimson in my save file, what I did immediately is I went through and I started at the very beginning of the game and I got as many S ranks as possible. Ah, okay. And by the time I was at this point, she was at least a level 22. And by the time I got to chapter uh, five, 
Which, again, there's only five chapters, uh, with about 10 to 15 levels each in them. This is cool music. I was close to a level 30. Wow. So, I mean, level 15 Crimson against enemies in this level and the rest of this chapter, it's gonna be sticky. Yep. So, I mean, instead of you guys being used to, like, maybe one or two episodes per chapter, I would say chapter three is gonna be... Mm, probably like another another episode. Maybe we'll do like part chapter three, part chapter four in it, something like that. Yeah, that's the plan. But this music is so dramatic, Kiwi. Super dramatic. I know. See how we're barely hurting this thing now. Cool. Like I yeah. mean, oh, well now it's more just intense, but it was really dramatic. Just imagine Jake fighting this thing right now. Like Jake would be destroyed. I imagine Jake hiding in a corner and crying. <laughs> no, he would attack the thing head yeah, on. He would just die. Yeah, I know. Alright. Bring it! Come on! Spear monster. Monster spear. Now I just remembered that astronauts actually. Oh, there forget is an it. Incoming transmission on a monitor nearby. Follow my waypoint. Never mind. Okay, now watch Jake magically come back into the game. I think that's what happens, because she's not supposed to be in the cutscenes. Oh. Because again, bonus character. She's not supposed to be there. Maybe she, like, kicks butt the whole level, and then during the cutscene, she goes and makes Jake a sandwich. No, only, uh, <laughs> per ship, only one pilot can be, like, down on Earth, like, ah. using the, uh, the mine projection thing. I see. Both pilots can't do it. That's why they have another ship there. Like, uh, supposedly there to help, but you never see it! Ever! Shh! Oh, not this boss! Uh oh. Uh oh, is right. This doesn't look friendly. No. Uh. Yeah, I feel gypped. I wanna see two. <gasps> that would be two player mode! Both of them! Mm -hmm. Diana and Jake. Come on, update this game for two players! No, Oops. they can't. Then I would probably end up being. It's Jake. a predominantly single player game. All right, so I think we have to be Avalon for this in order to see more. Yep. You have no idea what you are up against, human. We are perfection. We span the length and breadth of the universe. There is nothing we cannot see. There is nowhere we cannot go. I'll tell you where you can go. You can go straight to Avalon. Keep your senses wired. I cannot advise you. Just stay clear of that lift. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's a creepy monster. Um, I've never fought this thing with Avalon. Uh, I beat it with Crimson. Let's give it a shot! How come we picked... What? They didn't let Avalon, you... Avalon, we have put up a modulating firewall around the Nightwing systems. You are immune to any further digital attacks. We are commencing bombardment. Music to my ears. Jacob Francis Carlaway. Okay, I don't like this song anymore. I see you. We see you. We? Assuming I'm talking to Goldie Miller, what the hell do you want? Go back to whence you came. There's nothing but death for you here. Not an option, Miss Miller. Very well, Jacob. I'll be seeing you very soon. Sorry, I forgot to bring the flowers. But I've got a nice mono west blade with your name on it. Bombardment oh, that's is complete. nice, Jake. It didn't kill the signal. The download did not give us the location of one of the relays. We are seeing a feed and we cannot triangulate it. I'll extract what we need. What I wish they showed here... Now, there was no cutscene when I played as Crimson. So that's why mm. I wanted to show Avalon, because I just fought the boss. There was no... Um, cool storyline, but what they should have done in yeah. space, they were doing a massive bombardment of like uh, some like uh, installation, like yeah. uh, that's projecting the signal. They should have like gone to that scene in space and showed like the the ship firing and attacking something, and then gone back here. But yeah, because I mean, you miss a lot of what the um the fleet is doing while you're I on know. Earth. Oh, they didn't show any of that. They're just saying, well, the ship's hanging out up here. It'd be cool if they actually visualized it so you can see it. Yeah, they just kind of update you 
little by little. They don't really show you what's going on. That's the difference between an anime and a Western thing. So this feels more Western than anime. Mm. Because in anime, they would show you what's going on. Like, you know, yeah. preparing bombardment. And then it would show you, like, Zoe there. And you would see the ship attacking something. And then it would go right back to this character. Yeah, that would be cool looking. Instead of it just happening, like, off in the distance. Yes. And it would actually, I don't know, it would make for a more compelling story, but I mean, uh, that's my only problem I have with this series, is like a lot of the storytelling is told like, um, just <laughs> very nonchalant. When you said off in the distance, I was thinking of the Tales of Zesty intro. Off in the distance, there's a man with a, some kind of hand, and in his hand, colors. With a cape. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember how. They I don't played. remember what the script was. Uh, actually, you did not script that. You just started. Oh, talking. it was ad libs. You're yeah, right. You yeah. Just started talking, and I was just like, uh. <clears throat> that was awesome. Okay, so this boss is one of the hardest, like, without yeah. a doubt. I haven't found any weaknesses, and the best way that I was able to beat her um, is speed and the strength of Crimson. Avalon doesn't have... it's not that powerful yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with... Hmm. Well, I guess we have all the abilities that we're going to have. Alright, let's uh, go say hi to Medusa. Uh. Let's go say hello. No, I really don't want to. Yeah, she did give a Medusa-type vibe for me. No, she's basically Medusa. You'll see. Okay. Is this it? Yep, this is it. Oh. Goldie! She's like Goldilocks, but not. <sighs> she's Midna. What did you do to him? Where is he? Be not afraid, Jacob. His suffering was only agonizing before the end. Oh, Donovan was too smart for you. That is what he thought. But now it's time to close the family circle. I want to watch you burn, Mrs. Miller. Miss Miller? Wait, the Chipettes? Yeah. This is what happened to them. Bridget! <laughs> That's why they're all morphed into one. They went through some weird portal thing, and then they got morphed into one weird giant creature. In the comment section below, can you name all the chipettes from the chipmunks? Give it a shot. And no cheating. I can't. You already fail, Amber. Sadness. There's no point in me telling people because I just asked them to tell me in the comments. All right, yeah, I really don't like this boss. So you got to avoid that hand that's in the background. Causes a lot of damage. Somebody shout me the names of the chipettes so I can tell Kiwi. Oh. I already know them. I know, but I want us. I want you to be proud of me. No, too late. <laughs> There's nothing but death for you here. Yeah, no. All right, so she has that move, but one of the moves in this game that I hate, especially with this character, she brings in like this cylinder that replenishes half her health. If you don't destroy the cylinder in time. I see. This is cool, though. I mean, she summons, like, all these monsters to fight you and stuff like that. And they drop uh, health items and other things after you destroy them. But at the same time, you have to avoid those purple things, because that's, like... I think that drains half your health. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I should have been crimson. Why did I do that? Why? That was really, really know. stupid. Why? I mean, it just, if I'm trying to make this game harder for myself, yes, play with a character that's totally weaker than Crimson. That ought to do it. You were trying to show the cutscene. I know. Ah! Thanks for showing us the cutscene, K-Wing. Now I'm having fun watching you die. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but have fun playing whatever you're playing. Ah! Run! No, no, no! Have fun, PSN friend. PSN friend? Switch. Uh. Yep, baseball. Ah! 
In Amber's defense, there really isn't any, but... Okay, this... <laughs> this part... First she summon, summons, like, this acid bath, and then she brings in this cylinder, and she's gonna get all her health back. Remember, the tiny system is the P... Or the... Now you got me doing it. Tiny system is the Switch. <laughs> PS4 is the big system. Oh. It usually says PlayStation on the controller. Oh, right. Whereas this says Pro Controller. Oh, yeah, but they're both black. No, you don't. Ooh. They're completely different. They have wires. No, nope, they're both wireless. Oh, yeah. Mm, fine. Sometimes, folks, there's no cure in this for blonde. <laughs> Sadness! You just smile and nod. <laughs> I'm waiting for a cure. <laughs> Me too. Fight for the cure. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy there, Tex. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe to make a cure for me. Ah. <laughs> ah. There we go. Nope. Come on, bring it. Hmm. See, that little projectile of hers is nasty. Alright, so we have one more health power-up that I have over there that I need to hold on to for as long as I can. This is gonna be a long, tedious battle, and I'm not looking forward to it. Just die already! Thank you! Come on, why Ooh. don't you join the party? No healing yourself this time. I mean it! Nasty acid bath. Yep. Ow. See, I can't quite figure out her pattern. I wouldn't need to worry about the pattern if I was playing as Crimson, though, because she's so strong. That a lot, yeah. though? I need to pay attention to everything that Goldie does. Does this look like an adult Midna to you? With the hand? Kind of. Yeah, except for Midna's cuter. This is not good. How we, uh, and Midna's prettier as an adult than this person. Used our last power up. Come on, bring it down. Bring it. No, I can't really hurt her until Man. like she strains I'm her. Sorry, health. but that weird, gross hand coming out of her head is not a good look for her. Well, you were right about the whole Midna thing. I mean, uh, I mean, imagine mm. how bad that would look with an evening gown. How would you even do that as oh, hair? Oh, dang it. Oh, sadness. Oh, first revive. No. I think we're going to use all of them. I hate this boss. No. Believe it or not, the boss you fight after this in Chapter 4 is a lot easier than her. Really? Yep. I don't believe it. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said believe it or not. Well, also, I was like level 20 something when I fought the next boss but ah. and it was crimson oh yeah you were the crimson chin I mean crimson red comet red comet char okay that that thing is problematic <gasps> Ooh, notice turtles. how I don't attack it and it's restoring her health <gasps> so I'm just showing people even if I attack it just a little bit, it doesn't matter. I have to fully blow that thing up. See? She got, like, a good portion of her health back. Unbelievable! So this fight can last about 30 minutes, if you don't know what you're doing. So next time, the, uh, like, I don't know what She's you call it. mean! Sphere, prison, I don't know what you want to call that thing. Turtle ooze container? Yeah. Next time that turtle ooze <laughs> container comes down, we have to destroy it. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what made her so messed up. Exactly. The chipettes all fell into that turtle ooze and then became that. So, I mean, <laughs> if you can take hits, take them. Just destroy that thing as quickly as possible. And I still don't know their names. Uh, all no. I know is they were wearing leg warmers. See? It replenished its health. So we didn't destroy it fast okay. enough. All right, here we go. Revive number two used. Not good. Revive two has been used. Come on, Miss Miller. It'd be cool if Avalon could go up to the ship and Crimson could replace him and come back down here in the middle of the fight. No, it doesn't happen that way. Is that this? In real life, it could. Maybe. <gasps> oh my gosh, her hand is walking towards you. That's like the thing. Ugh. Get that turtle loose. 
I'm trying! It's so strong! My attacks are so weak and useless! Oh man! Quick! Before she absorbs it! No, no, no! Ah! ah! She took it! She took life back. Why? See, it's like a never-ending oh. battle because I get her down to a smidgen of her health, then she brings down the turtle ooze, and it starts all over again. It's ridiculous! Yeah, it is. That's why I said she's the hardest boss, because the other one doesn't really regenerate its health. This one does. Miss Miller is mean. Yep. She Curse you, Miss Miller! Yeah. Reminds me of some kindergarten teacher. Come on! That gave me an A minus once. I shake my fist at her. Destroy it! How dare it give me an A minus? I deserve an A plus on that crayon. Ah. I drew in the lines. How dare you refill your health? Oh, jeez. We're in big trouble. We are in really serious trouble. Maybe she's just nice if you get to know her. No, I don't think so. There's she's not really... A, there's no human personality left by this you point. Know, you know, like, maybe she just needs... Ah! To, like, what if she had a piece of chocolate? No. Oh, sorry that you died. Only two revives left. Because this is kind of how I get when I don't have chocolate. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a hand grow out of my head before, though. Drink more soda. Yeah, then I could become... Alright, so just Pop using things. your Y attack. There Yay, we go. Yay, you did it! Replenish this! Replenish? Ow. Yeah. Come on. Why is she talking? You can't even hear what she's saying. I don't care. She's just mumbling. It's like, uh... The teacher from Charlie Brown or something. Alright, that's alright. Take the damage, just destroy it. Enunciate! Why won't you die? Why won't you enunciate things? Oh, great, this again. Ow, 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 ow! There we go! So yeah, just the basic Y combo is all you need. I'm not trying to run. I'm trying to kill you. And it's not been very successful. Ah! Starting to feel the rage! It's coming! The rage is coming! Uh-oh. Die! Thank you. Raymond has sealed your fate. Your Asa, once that reaches all of it, will submerge into the subspace between all things and begin communication with all our kind. What does that even mean? The planet will be in our sights. If you evacuate Gaia, we will know your every move. We can see the trails of the quantum drives leave behind. Uh huh? Never. So it's like an organism that feeds on humans. <gasps> the Borg! Disturbing. Oh my god. Is that... I don't believe it. I knew it. Been a long time, kiddo. We're gonna have to make up later. Follow me. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! Surprise! It's his dad! It's Jake's dad! He's alive! That's his uncle. Wait. The parents oh, are man. dead. It's his uncle! He's alive! Wow, you really don't pay attention to stories. All right, ladies it's and gentlemen. His family member! Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, subscribe. Yay! Uh, join us next time as the Red Comet heads to <gasps> Chapter 4. Probably. Oh my gosh! And we'll see you again at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another one of Implosion K-Teen episodes. I God bless and happy gaming. See ya!